Warning! This video contains flashing images that may affect photosensitive viewers. Hello, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we have a big project. To haul different pieces of equipment, we have been in need of a flat deck trailer. We opted to make one after looking at what was currently on the market and not being impressed. We have decided on a 14 feet long by 6 and a half feet wide trailer, measured between the fenders. This size trailer will be both big enough to accommodate our necessary equipment and compact enough to go onto smaller job sites. So let's get into it. The main frame rails are laid out first. We purchased these pre-cut. To confirm that the frame is square, we measured it from corner to corner. It is sitting on wooden blocks, to ensure that it is level. The main frame rails are then joined via welding. The axles are mounted next. These axles were purchased from a person who had disassembled an American-built travel trailer. We will replace all of the bushings because the axles are used. They needed to be replaced, as you can see. We are changing them out for the never-fail bushings. The hangers and the equalizers will also be replaced. These axles were chosen because of their 4-ton load capability and electric braking system. Always remember, measure twice. And weld once. By the way, if you enjoy this content please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing. It helps us to grow and produce more videos like this. The channel beams that make up the tongue are carried out by Paul and his junior assistant. This is welded in place after being measured. Next is the adjustable coupler. When we reach 1,000 subscribers, Claire has promised to buy Paul a new work jacket. Give Paul a helping hand by subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. It's time to use our 1998 JCB 803 Plus to turn the structure over.
For straps, wheel chocks, and other supplies, we incorporated a tool tray. Strengthening gusses, where the spring hangers joined to the frame, are attached. There's also a stop bar added. Now, we shift to the back of the trailer. We are installing two 5 feet stand-up ramps that we previously manufactured. Having already installed the fenders, we cut and attach strengtheners, which also function as steps.
it's time to get ready for sandblasting and painting now all the steelwork has been finished. Come join us in the next one as we finish the project. Thanks for watching.